how do that chums to Zion, Captain of the Steves, and today chums for you guys in the viewerverse, I've got some No Man's Sky news. The patch notes for No Man's Sky Orbital are now available on their website. I'll be jumping over and I'll be reading through the said patch notes. So here we go, let's jump on over into the verse. Let's bring on up the patch notes. So here we go, No Man's Sky Orbital. So yes, the actual emoji this time was a star with like a crescent behind it like an orbiting star it's actually the dizzy emoji for like if you got knocked about the head very cartoon-esque sometimes it's like birds or whatever but anyway i'm fairly sure i saw people inside of guessing that perhaps this update would be called orbital and the stations are in orbit so perhaps it's to do with the stations those people were right people inside the view of us i thought they would be holding the space stations back until say the summer i thought maybe there might be some lore as to rhyme or reason why why they're getting this sort of facelift but anyway i digress let's jump on into the old patch notes orbital introducing update 4.6 dock your fully customized starship in sleek new space stations of update 4.6 orbital uh, this is still a 0.6 it's not 5.0 yet is it Space stations have been completely overhauled and brand new starships can be constructed from salvage parts. Frigate fleets can request intervention with interstellar expeditions. What the fudge? Okay, that I didn't see when I was going through my playtest earlier. If you didn't see my early playtest, I put a video link up there. If you want to go watch that, you can see all this new stuff inside of iteration. Uh, okay, so here we go. Trading, standing and guilds have been improved and much more. I haven't watched this trailer yet, people. I'm going to hit play. Uh, let's hit watch on YouTube. It's going to open a new tab. I'm going to mute it because I usually have copyright protected music. And let's watch this together. I've tried to make it full screen. Is it going to go full screen? No, it's not. Yeah, YouTube sometimes okay, does this. Finally got it working. Here we go. Let's hit play. There we go. So look at the actual ins inside of the stations, They're completely renovated now. They've all got their own sort of colour, their own sort of themage. And I've noticed subtle differences between the different races. The Viking, they've got like more sort of weaponry and tech on display. Whereas the Gek have got all sorts of other weirdness on display, like um, bits and bobs. And the actual Corvacs have got more servers and more sort of technical type stuff on display. We'll see if it mentions that in the patch notes, whether it's just me imaginocating things. It's like that station core at the back there. You'd see, it was square. Most of the ones I've seen are sort of like rounded and they sort of pirouette out and stuff. So I haven't seen that square one yet. And look, we've got ship customization. You can you can create yourself what looks to be a fighter or hauler or explorer from scratch and recolor them however you wish. So yeah, this could be fun. Me and Ricey are going to be doing a collaboration later where we're going to be flying out and scrapping a load of ships and putting this, this sort of new engine into iteration. I'm going to give it some testing. I'll put a link up there to our live streams. But yeah, coolio. I can't wait to be doing any of that. That would be nice. Uh, intercept fleet missions. Interesting. Okay, there we go. And guild decorations as well, or donations. So you can donate stuff in and redeem things and get new sorts of shizzle. Freaking great. And I, I do like all this sort of new station overhaul. It says more will follow. More will follow. I'd imagine we might get an expedition, perhaps maybe tail end of this month. But we shall see, people. Who shall? We shall see. Okay, so back over to the old patch notes. Let's scroll on down. Coolio, hopefully it's going to be on all platforms. At the moment, it seems to already be on PlayStation 5 and Steam, as far as I know. I did see signs that it was coming to PlayStation 4, but I've had people commenting to say it's not on PlayStation 4. So I don't know what's going on there. I haven't heard from any Switch users, Mac or otherwise. So if you have got it on your platform, you can always sound off in the comments just to let people know. Space Station Overhaul. The external architecture of space stations has been completely reimagined. The new designs bring incredible detail and bold silhouettes, as well as a broad range of color palettes to those deep space orbital platforms. It does put a certain sort of je ne sais quoi into the space stations now as you're approaching them. They do have a certain level of gravitas. They are pretty impressive to the eye and to behold. I mean, look at them. They look freaking epic. Now, these parts on these, they look very much in keeping to what we see on the actual 
planet's surface when you go to colossal archives. It's almost like parts of these have broken off and gone and landed on the planet. I'm wondering whether they are going to link the colossal archives with the stations at some stage to give a little bit more exploration on planet surfaces in way of generating maps and things down at the colossal archives. But we shall see if they actually make that connection one day. But yeah, very awesome. I've already seen some really cool combinations that I like. I might have to maybe do a little a little mini jaunt, a little mini side exercise of just visiting space stations and taking a look at them, looking at them from the interior and exterior. A little sort of look through the keyhole. Who lives in a station like this type episode, you know? Reputational discounts. You're standing with alien races. Now impacts the prices offered by technology vendors aboard the space station. Cultivate a strong reputation with alien life forms to enjoy deep discounts. Now I have looked at this at surface level and because I'm so far into game and tippity top shape, I don't think making much use of those sort of discounts is really viable to end game players like myself because money is no object now. But I'd imagine for people getting into the game, building up the standing with the actual alien races, getting discounted guild items and then selling them for a freaking profit would be a good way to make units. So yes, for new players, I think the reputational discounts and the reputational overhaul to the actual um, you know, guild vendors is, is a lucrative thing to do. And also, it, I, I saw a freaking walker's brain in there, so that you don't have to take out a walker now to get a conflict scanner for your ship. So yeah, I can see a couple of pluses in there already, people. Look at that. That looks freaking epic. I've already seen a couple that I liked more than that. But yes, I am thinking about doing a little mini side adventure where I just look at stations and we just sort of scurry around them inside and out, you know? Total Space Station Redesign. The space station interiors have been completely redesigned and expanded. The engine improvements have enabled a vast and dramatic new station experience. I guess I'd say so. As well as visual improvements, navigating to essential shops and technical equipment is more intuitive and efficient. Stations include more nooks to explore and aesthetics now vary tremendously from system to system. Yeah, I'd, I'd say I've seen quite a lot of variants inside and out to the actual stations, including the lighting. I went in one earlier and it's all freaking rusted inside and the exterior was rusted as well. It looked freaking awesome. Need to check out my hub zone, see what the stations look like there. Trade surges. This I didn't come across or I didn't pay attention to when I was actually streaming live earlier. The Starship Economy Scanner can now sweep for market surges. Cool. In nearby star systems, these time limited events present high profit opportunities for enterprising traders, revealing which trade commodities are currently scarce and in high demand. So there you go, if you ever wanted to be a trader in No Man's Sky, there's never been a better time to jump in, people. Now, again, I'm quite high level. I've already gone past all of this making any sort of changes to my needs. I mean, I've got more money than I can shake a stick at. So for me, not all that much. But for new players, you can now become a galactic trader. Not only can you do decent trade, you can also do smuggling as well with pirate systems. There's probably ample opportunity to make units super fast if you want to do trade. So brilliant. I feel that there's still a couple of steps that they could do with trade, maybe introducing player driven markets and things like that, a bit more like EVE Online. But yeah, some people will say that's a step too far. Sound up in the comments. Ship customization. The Starship Fabrica allows travelers to design and construct completely custom ships from salvaged parts, dismantle unwanted ships at the outfitting station, then repurpose the components into the Starship of your dreams. Natural hunted ships required by traditional methods can be identified by authenticated Starship seal and then attract a bonus in price when traded. You come again. Naturally hunted ships. Okay, so the naturally hunted ships, not the ones that you customised, will now fetch a bit more of a bonus when traded. This is what I'm reading. Maybe these customised starships fetch less in value? Okay. Interesting. I guess we're going to have to play with that. Like I say, me and Ricey are going to be going out and we're going to be doing this later. In fact, they're Rice's freaking starship colours that they were using right there. That was red, yellow... Yeah, that, that was Rice's starship colours then. That was freaking awesome. That's really in keeping for freaking Ricey. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay, well, we're scrolling down. 
Nice, look at that station, big barrel -y type station. You can fly through all of this, all these sort of gantry areas. Pretty darn lovely. Yeah, very cool. And yeah, you can fly around the back and they've all got engines on the back of them now as well. Space Station Variety! So yeah, I came into one like this with all the rusted elements and things like that. Very cool. Space Station interiors are now procedurally generated and vary dramatically from st station to station. A huge range of different designs are waiting to be found, as well as a wide array of atmospheric and lighting arrangements. Yes, I've seen a couple. I mean, yeah, there's some prime examples right there, people. Yeah, salvage ship part. Disassemble starships at the Starship out Outfitting Station to break them into reusable components. These salvageable customization modules can then be used to fabricate a brand new fully customized starship. I, I, I'm going to be making an Explorer as my first ship. I dismantled one in my live stream. I want to try and get these glider wings. They're my favorite Explorer wings. I'm still not sure what cockpit to use. I, I like the little bubbly ones. Oh, and that's another thing. Every single ship part now has been given an official designation and name by Hello Games. So all of your Starship finds, if you're putting these up on the Interstellar Index and all other places like that, I don't know whether they're going to be renaming in lining with what's inside of the No Man's Sky game. So it all marries up. So if you have got some particularly awesome finds that are still relevant and live, you might want to check the place that you've uploaded to see if they're going to adopt the new names that are in game or whether they're just going to keep to what the community is used to. Yeah, interesting one that. Could be a lot of work cut out for you there if, if that is the case. Cool, yeah. So, yeah, you can break them all down into lovely little parts and all sorts of other shenanigans. It's like this part here. We've come, we've come to know that as like the Omega Nose or whatever, or the Alpha, the Alpha Nose. I think that's actually been called the Omega Nose now or something. But, yeah, it's that sort of stuff. We'll, hopefully we get to that as and when we get to it, you know. Screen Space Reflections. Very cool. The lighting model for reflective services has been revised to achieve a more realistic appearance as well as reduce noise around reflections and improvements to their stability. Very cool. I have noticed though as I'm walking around the space stations, especially around these vendors, I'm getting all these little black pixels appear every now and again, especially when I interact with the actual vendor and the screen swaps around. I get some, I don't know whether it's screen tearing or screen noise, I don't know how to explain it, but I have noticed it. But I do like all these sort of visual sort of hues and the reflections that are going on, and I must say the metal looks more metally. it really does. Excellent. Hello games. Hopefully you can do something with your water shaders on planets. That'll be nice. Yeah, they need some attention. Oh yeah, but look at that. That looks freaking excellent, doesn't it? As where well stations go. Fleet missions. Okay, so this is something that I didn't even think to look at inside of game because there was no mention inside of the patch notes inside a game of what we knew prior to my live testing. Fleets of frigates engaged in interstellar expeditions may reach out for remote guidance or even request your presence for direct intervention. Oh, freaking sweet. So you know like how you get called back to your settlement every now and again? It looks like you might get called to assist with an actual mission. Ah, I'm going to be sending out fleets of missions then. Advise your commanders in situations relating to crew management, strange space phenomena, risky exploration ventures and more, or walk to their system and help defend the fleet against attack. Freaking epic! Okay, so I'm going to send out fleets just to have something else to do, you know, ambiently, because why not? Your choice matters. Decisions made will directly impact the outcome and rewards of the expedition events. Awesome! I wonder if that's why people have had problems getting those um, expansion slots for their living ships. Maybe you have to go and assist now to get those higher tier rewards. That could explain things. We'll have to do some playtesting there, people. I guess we will. All right, we'll scroll down a little bit further. We have confirmed them to a, we have confined them to a medical bay. I'm unsure what our next step should be. Keep them quarantined. Vent them into space. <laughs> Brilliant. I wonder if your, queue, your your crew count goes down if you choose to do that option. Holy fudge. Okay. Um, I think this could be interesting. I'd have to send out a few fleets. Let's see what happens, people. 
Okay, I've got a few things I want to test now. Okay, this update is far bigger than I imagined, people. Improved Guild Rewards! Affiliation with the mercenaries, explorers and merchant guilds is more rewarding than ever. Guild envoys in each solar system now offer a selection of free or discounted supplies, increasing their value for higher ranking members. Visit new systems to collect more complimentary items. There you go, people. It could be a decent way to make yourself some profit or just to up some of the rarer things inside of your actual inventory. So there is that, people. Lovely jubbly. Oh, I think this is going to be more appealing to those that are lower in actual travelling and stuff because my numbers here are freaking phenomenally high. I don't think I can take the full advantage of this system. So any new players out there, let me know if this new system, this new guild system, is working for you and to what level. Is it helping you massively? Is it something that you're actually looking at regularly? Or is it something that you just run past and ignore? Let us know, people, inside of the comments if you're a new player to No Man's Sky. Station Merchant Refresh. All space station vendors have undergone a complete storefront renovation. New high-tech props, kiosks and decorations provide plenty of visual and details to delight customers. And each guild has uniquely designed service points for its envoy. Freaking lovely. I was just thinking, I have hit up a new PlayStation, not PlayStation, PC save over on Steam. So you know what, I'm going to go and visit those Guild Envoys and I'm going to see what difference it makes when I'm doing my playthrough as well, peeps, inside the view of us. But still sound off in the comments and let us know how it's affected your game. Excellent. Look at all this. It looks freaking lovely, doesn't it? And yeah, I've noticed that you get these sort of like little holographic projections more so of people holding weaponry and stuff inside of the Viking systems. I don't know whether it's just something I've noticed or whether it's uh, when I was watching my footage back earlier, that is, anyway. Okay, I do like all this little pinpointing of where all the actual kiosks are now. The layout is a lot quicker to traverse. There's no jumping to one side of the mezzanine to the other. Freaking nice. But where have those back rooms gone? For, you know, the Remembrance Terminals. They're still inside of abandoned systems and in the old space station layouts. So I'd imagine now people are going to find it harder to find those Remembrance Terminals. Cool. Space Station Base Parts. A selection of the most premium and desirable space station commodities are available to build in planetary and freighter bases. Visit the construction research station aboard the Space Anomaly to learn these new constructional blueprints. There is actually the, those mechanical arms, these ones here that you see there, they actually move. They're freaking awesome. And I love this new table with the hologram of the freaking terrain. I'm going to be using that a heck of a lot and those arms. And a lot of these holographic things things they really do add a certain element of presence and workability and believability to your bases so yeah go grab all of those i chucked mine into creative mode during that live stream that i did earlier i've already given the link and i just freaking grabbed them all i did showcase some of the more interesting ones i didn't show all of them but i showed a good handful i showed like the top five that i'm interested in i showed that one off that one that one and that one and i think that was about it coolio oh and the light yeah Cool. Unique, unique stations. Each alien race imprints their personality onto their space station designs. I thought so. Honestly did. I did put some AI renderings of a Gex space station and a Viking station up on the Twitter space and put it out there. I wonder if that had any influence. Maybe it did, maybe it didn't. The Corvax are known to furnish their stations with server blocks and technical equipment. Gex stations provide ergonomic seating amid scrolling billboards i didn't see any scrolling billboards i did notice more seating though and viking stations often double as storage facilities for classified military equipment this one here i think is actually a viking one and you can see the military equipment there and a few of the vikings ones i went to had this purple lighting as well so yeah pretty darn freaking lovely aha look at all this I didn't really notice the display boards like that actually showing images and like that. I'm going to have to have a better look around. I'm going to have a slower mooch. I was an excited little puppy earlier. I was running around going, oh, look at this, look at that, look at this, look at that, look at this. But I didn't spend a lot of time looking at a single thing. I was running around like a kid in a freaking toy shop at Christmas time. That was me. Front end and UI improvements. The game mode selection screen has been refreshed with a clean, polished new aesthetic and many user interfaces and elements throughout the game have been revisited for consistency and visual appeal. 
yeah, I did notice that. I did get a little bit lost, but you know what? It looks freaking great. It looks bang on tidy. Hello, games. Well done on the UI improvements. I approve, I guess. I approve of everything in this update. Now, I'll be doing a review of this update fairly soon, people. I have got a poll up on my actual channel page, which I've got in another tab on my top bar. I'll bring it up in a minute, and I'll show you the poll and how far it's moved on so far. Guild Envoy, swiftly advancing in standing with merchants, explorers, and mercenary guilds by donating surplus material to the guild treasuries, approach the space station Envoy to browse the list that they currently desired items. Yeah, I handed in loads and went up my um, ratings very quickly, but you know what? I'm already at max rank. I've already got the highest medals, so I don't know how much you have to do to actually get it up to the highest tier. I'll find out on my PC safe, won't I? Heck yes, I will. I'd better get back into that. Um, I'm having fun in Dragon's Dogma at the moment, but I might have to continue doing my PC playthrough on Steam. Heck yes. Switch starships aboard the stations. I noticed this earlier. I scrapped my um, Explorer on the station by changing my ship. I noticed this was a new feature. While docked with a space station landing pads, use the quick menu to instantly swap to your primary ship. Scrapping starships for salvage has never been easier. No, nah, yeah, totally. And there's a whole new mezzanine over to one side of the station now that has no purpose other than probably looking out at the starships that fly in to pick up and scrap like that. Awesome. Unique starship colours. Custom fabricated starships can be decorated with a variety of paint designs, including some tints and shades unavailable in the galactic standard starships, as well as further refined with matte or metallic finishes. Oh, sweet. I'm just thinking this opens up a whole new element of Quicksilver items and rewards from expeditions. New ship skins. Oh, I would love to have a kill count or something like that on my ship. It'd be nice if it actually updated. <laughs> It'd be covered in freaking lines though, wouldn't it? You wouldn't be able to see the ship. <laughs> but anyway, that looks freaking awesome. Oh my, and look, pink is a colour, people. Oh, is there black? There's not black, but there is grey. They need to add a couple more colours, people, don't they? Heck yes, they do. I'd love to make a, a, a more black and red ship colour. Oh my days, I might have to go and find all my favourite fight fighter parts. I'd love to have a viper nose with droid wings. Heck yes, that's right, I'd like that. And I'd probably go for a more black and red approach. Yeah, freaking nice. Okie dokie, I'm hoping they've given us some more ship slots. I'm hoping they have, especially since we can make more ships now. That'll make sense. Oh, that looks freaking awesome, doesn't it? It looks like it's all like the mouth of a whale or something. It's almost like a rib cage there and a spine, isn't it? Freaking cool. Okay, and then there's a shed load of patch notes there. I'm just going to slowly scroll on there if you want to pause and read any of this. But I'd imagine a lot of this has been taken part with the actual patch notes above. There is probably some more tweaks and things inside of here, but who knows? But yeah, I'd imagine there's going to be some bugs with this update as well, people. Not that I've encountered any when I was doing my live playthrough earlier, but I haven't tried building a starship yet. And then I haven't tried scrapping said starship that you build. There could be a thing, a few things here that could be a bit twitchy. I would say anything around the actual building of a starship, maybe make a save and back up your save before you build your first starship. And maybe if you are planning then to scrap the starship to see if you get any extra commodities from scrapping one that you've built over one that you've found, maybe make another save then as well. If you're testing any of these new elements, do so carefully is what I would say to you. And anything that you do find, feel sure to go and report that to the Zen desk of Hello of the Games. Anyway, over to my poll people inside the viewerverse. So here you go. No Man's Sky Orbital is now out on some platforms. I think it might be out on the majority of platforms now. Can't say for sure. What do you think so far? Not seen it. Here's my video. There's a link to my live video there as well, people. Ship customization and new stars and new stations. Heck yes. Well happy. 71% of people are super happy. Well happy with this update. And I don't blame them. I am too. My expectations were set a lot lower this time, and you know what, it's blown my expectations out of the water, which I think from now on, although that I might say, well, this might happen, this might happen, I'm going to set my expectations lower than where I normally place the bar, because I do tend to get a bit carried away. I am a very excitable person, and I do have 
ideas around the potential that No Man's Sky can still deliver in. So yeah, anyway, I'm just saying my speculation videos are still going to be heavily speculation, but I am going to try to set my expectation bar a little bit more in check with the way things have gone in yesteryear. Ship customization doesn't interest me. More fluffy dice, meh. 3%. It's nice to see that number low because I am inside of this percentile. I honestly am. But what new things can we do? Happy, but it feels a bit shallow. As I was walking around inside of this update, I'm not going to lie, there was in the pit of my stomach thinking, well, what's, what can I actually do with this? Well, you can hear from my voice and, and, and what I just said during those patch notes, what I want to do. I want to build a custom Viper nose ship with droid wings, but I also want to build myself an awesome Explorer because the Explorer I had was nice, but it didn't feel it was properly mine. I just, I feel with ship customization, you can take the ships that you've got currently in your fleet and make them more yours. But it's going to take a long time to do that. You've got to find all the ships that you want to scrap, scrap the heck out of them, and then slowly craft it out and build it. And something that Ricey pointed out, out to me, I had a video call with him earlier, uh, how he feels being, you know, a, a, a ship creator connoisseur and also a friend. And he said, and we were doing a collaboration later, and he noticed that it said one of ten. When I scrapped my ship, the actual hole that I got got one of ten. You can only have ten pieces of each of that ship and I'd imagine when you create your ship it's going to go down by a number so you've got to be very careful which pieces you choose or else you're going to be going back out to go and find that ship again to scrap it to undo the issue that you've done so yeah I think this brings a whole new window an element of gameplay I don't think it takes away from ship hunting at all but we will find out live tonight at 7 p.m over on mine and Rice's channels, be sure to hit us up, subscribe so you're watching and hit our bells when we do go live because I think it's going to be an interesting video to watch to see exactly what we uncover. Okay, cool. More than I hoped for and I love the new space stations. Super excited, 9% hit that. Well happy and super excited are ringing out here people, aren't they? And when you put those together, that's 80% of the community are more than happy with what they're seeing so far. And I'm on par with them. I really am. These negative Nellies in here, I'd imagine you might see a few people going around saying, well, there's nothing for me here. I want to see procedural generation taken up a notch. I want to see exploration. Well... I think that might come this year. I really do. I think Hello Games, with this update, have focused on trade. Yeah, they haven't touched trade for ages. You've got to remember there's four pillars to No Man's Sky. Explore, survive, fight, and trade. So this one, they've hit on trade. Okay, With the previous year, with Sentinel Update and Outlaws, they really focused on the combat element and surviving element. I think Origins was the last update that we had that done exploration. So when you look at what we've had over the last couple of years, hopefully it's going to circle back round to exploration, tail end of this year. If we are to get any more updates, let's keep our fingers crossed for that exploration, because I do hear you people inside the viewer us. There is quite... Oh, we just got a new subscriber. Hello there, Moonrose. Welcome aboard. Anyways, if you haven't hit that subscribe button, that's what happens every time. Even if I'm making my video, I see it. Thank you. Anyways, what was I saying? Yeah, I'm hoping it does roll back round to exploration. I do hope that gets revisited. It does seem to be that Hello Games is trying to put something out for everyone. It's like even in this update, even though it's trade focused, we've got a load of new base parts. Smashing super and great. I'm fairly sure you're putting the face, smiles on people's faces around the verse. Hello, games. Heck yes. Oh, it's got two comments as well. So I only put this live like, what, 33 minutes ago. We've had 34 votes. That's one a minute. Heck yes, simple math. There we go. Let's go and have a look at the comments that we've got. I haven't read these yet myself. Oh, we've got more than two. Very interested in what the summer update is. We're most likely hit 5.0. That's what I was thinking, that YouTube guy. Yeah, since this is 4.6 and thought that the stations would be in summer update. You and me both, mate. And we've got some sorts of ship customization. Yes, there's only three ship types at the moment. Explorers, haulers and fighters. The fighters are Viking related. The haulers are more Gek related. And then the explorers are more Corvax related. That's why I think we've been given these three primary ship types now. I think in future... We might see the shuttles added. 
but I'm very skeptical on the Sentinel ships. I don't think we get the Sentinel ships added, and I don't think we're going to get the wing ships added. There's a couple of reasons to that, but um, we get into that on another video, maybe. Okay, this is really hyped for the year, to be honest. Maybe Sean isn't bluffing about this being a big year for No Man's Sky. You know what? I was a little bit disappointed in February when we saw the first update of the year because I thought that was going to set a precedent for the rest of the year. This has now thrown a freaking curveball and it's hit me in the freaking eye. Ah, curveball. Pop. You know, because this is this is really shaking it up a little bit. This is far larger than I thought it would be. I thought this would be on par with Outlaws. It's on par with Outlaws and then some, in my opinion, this update. This is quite an exciting update. I don't know how deep it is, though, though. I don't know how long it's going to keep me engaged. Being that I'm not the greatest of ship hunters, I enjoy it. But at the same time, standing on top of a trading post, waiting for an S-Class ship to fly in, really isn't riveting for me. I mean, when it does fly in, yes, I'm like, wow, it's here. But I, I think I might have some sort of form of ADHD because waiting for things to happen and waiting in line for me is like watching paint dry. Still waiting for the update to go live on Xbox Cloud. Looks awesome, though. I'm kind of excited. I guess I hope you get it on Xbox. I really do. Seems to be that Xbox is always last to get anything at the moment. Maybe there were some sort of shenanigans with Microsoft. Who freaking knows? But anyways... I'm just confused why we can't do it with shuttles or solars. Okay, I will do another video on shuttles and solar ships. I mean, I think living ships is obvious. I think that's obvious. And sentinel ships, because they're procedurally generated and you, get, you only get one per system, and it's generated in a different way to other ships, I think that's why we haven't got sentinel ships. Organic ships, you can't really pull those apart inside of a machine. You're going to need an operating table for those ones. But yeah, I do agree with you. Shuttles and solars, I think, are on the cards. But I think... Okay. All right, even though I said I was going to make another video, solar ships, I think we might be given customizable solar ships inside of the pirate stations at some point. I think they might get a little bit of an overhaul and we might get the ability to customize solar ships inside of those. Or if not inside of the actual pirate stations, maybe on board of the pirate dreadnoughts um, freighters making it so people might want to go get those if they're really into their solar ships is what i'm thinking i could be completely wrong they might be added into this customizable ship units inside of the normal stations at some point but the solar ships are piratey outlaw ships so i think it would make more sense for hello games to add them inside of the pirate stations and maybe give this pirate stations a little bit of a love a little bit of an overhaul although they've got some procedural elements like the the hauler that appears there in color that's the only thing that changes right now they might make them more race specific like make them more Corvax aligned, Viking aligned, Gek aligned inside of pirate stations. We looked at them earlier in my live stream. Obviously, I didn't run around them massively. They might have already been tweaked and I may have missed it. But it's not in the patch notes right now. And I don't see that solar ships are going to be buildable. The shuttles are the odd one out. I agree with you. The shuttle ones are the odd one out and I don't know why they're not there already. They're not really race specific. If they are aligned to a race, I do see more of them in the GEC systems than anywhere else. But they might be a subclass of ship that might get some sort of tweak or some sort of customization in future. I'm hoping they overhaul the... Um, the shuttles in their entirety shuttles i think need a rework out of all the ships they're the least that people get excited about they're the least that people fly in you know i very rarely see shuttles inside of the nexus and if i do i shield my eyes i'm like oh my god what's that obscenity over there it's the ugly betty of the freaking universe isn't it it really is but anyway hopefully they're going to give it a bit of a facelift hopefully they're going to revamp them similar to what they did with the explorers and i think that's why they're holding back on the shuttles i probably still will do a separate video on all of this and just keep it short and simple to that aspect okay cannot complain with this one says the hk47 I agree with you. Um, however, I will do a review after we've done this um, live stream with Ricey tonight. And the live stream tonight, if I hit it up right now, if I head on over here, it has got a little mini advert that plays at the start. It's a 30 second advert of my own. But yeah, that that will be. Oh, no, that's not that's not the live stream. This is what I did earlier on my actual channel. So if I head on over to my channel right now, boom, channel page, lovely jobs. It's going to have my little advert play there. I'll just mute that. Oh, it's already muted. Lovely. And if I go over to live, it should be here. 
YouTube does some weird things at the moment. Here it is. Upcoming stream. Let's jump over to it. We've got four hours left at the moment. Obviously, time moves. What's the time right now? It is roughly nearly 3 p.m. 5 to 3 here in the UK. So, yeah, another four hours. 7 o'clock. I've called it the 07 stream because it's at 7 o'clock and the 07 is a salute. And Ricey and myself... You know, we, we love our planes, Ricey more so than me. I mean, he knows everything about planes. I think he, he's even got a pilot's license in real life. So Ricey really brings ship hunting alive. If, you in, if you're into ship hunting, and now this adds an extra element to ship hunting, hit him up Ricey's Starship Emporium. You're, you're not going to be disappointed. You're really not. Freaking awesome guy. And he's got an awesome channel. There you go. I'll show you his channel. He's, he's in my live chat already. Let's go to channel. Boom. So here's Rice's channel over here, and you're going to see that it's all about ship hunting. Finding your next starship at the Emporium. How many subscribers he's got? He's got 4.96 subscribers. Let's see if we can hit him up to the 5,000 5, subscribers mark, because he definitely freaking deserves it. This guy is freaking awesome when it comes to ship hunting, people. And it's all ship, 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 ships over here. Heck yes, head on over, hit that subscribe, let him let, let him know that the captain sent you over as well. If you haven't come across Rice's Starship Emporium, it's freaking awesome. And he also supports other content creators. You know, he's got this wall here just dedicated to other content creators. I always love seeing that as part of the No Man's Sky community. When you go over to my channel, I've also got a similar sort of thing over there of my what most watched channels and also channels that have got uh, subscribers and backers of my channel as well. But yeah, I put that out there too. The super channels. There you go. Boom. There you go. There's loads there. Ricey is amongst them. There he is right there. Heck yes. It's a good thing. To, you can just hit up this. You can hit subscribe to any of these just from these walls as well. I love these pages. They really do help in getting about and subscribing to people. And it's also a good way of checking to see if you're still subscribed to all those people that you watch a lot. You know, down here is my subscriptions. You can see here, I, I watch a lot of um, Filipino channels as well, because we're hoping to get out to the Philippines at some point. But yeah, sometimes you just see that somebody is vanished from there. You're like, well, why have they vanished? Ah, uh, bit of a weird one. But yeah, anyways, that, that's going on at the moment. I have done polls on it as well, peeps. Anyway, I think I'm rabbiting on a little bit too much now. Gone off on a bit of a side tangent. But you know what, people? I am thoroughly stoked for this update. It's actually taken me a little bit by by um, surprise. Some of the space stations I flew in in my live stream, I was lost for words. It actually took my breath away for a moment. Some of these stations are freaking awesome in their atmospherics. They really are. So yeah, get hunting for your favourite space station. Like I say, I might even do a playlist. Look through the keyhole. Who lives in a station like this? Yes, I might do little space station tours, looking at their engines, looking at how they're actually um, you know, made up. Can I fly through their fuselages? Going inside, looking at the coloration and looking at some of the actual dressings inside of there to see how much they change from race to race. Yeah, I might do at least one live stream on it. You know, like how I used to do the, um, the portal random hunts. Maybe I'd use that randomized portal code generator and then jump to a random area of space and go look at the space station. I think that might be a good little episode and a new thing to bring to the channel. So yeah, I might do those. Might do those instead of doing maybe Destiny on a Monday. I might do those and still do Hell Divers on a Tuesday. Hell Divers 2. I really do like Hell Divers 2, so I might keep that on the channel going for a little bit longer. I'm also doing Dragon's Dogma right now, people inside the view of us. I'm also trying to build a PC. Hopefully soon I'll have enough money in the Patreon kitty to actually dish out and grab a piece. I was quite lucky and I, I think I might have some good news on the PC build coming soon. But yeah, basically I've ordered the tower case people. I shouldn't have, but I have. And it's going to be delivered in between May and September. So hopefully we'll have a video when that does arrive. Oh, it's a little way away yet, but it's on order. I've ordered it. I've ordered it, people. Heck yes. Till next time, goodbye, goodbye. Goodbye again. Salute to Mondo. Thank you for watching.